the night was thick with fog as I drove down the deserted country road. The dim glow of my headlights barely piercing the darkness that cloaked me like a suffocating blanket. The air was heavy with the smell of damp earth, the ominous atmosphere weighing heavily on my shoulders as I navigated the winding path ahead. I had taken a wrong turn, a simple mistake that would soon lead me down a path of terror and madness. As I pressed on, my heart pounding in my chest, a feeling of unease settled over me like a crashing wave. The road stretched out before me, its twists and turns shrouded in shadows, each corner holding the promise of untold horrors lurking just beyond the reach of my headlights. And then I saw it, a figure standing in the middle of the road, its form obscured by the fog, its eyes gleaming with an otherworldly light. Panic surged through my veins as I slammed on the brakes, the screech of tires echoing in the stillness of the night as I skidded to a halt. For a moment, I sat frozen in terror, my eyes locked with those of the mysterious figure that stood before me. And then, as if by some cruel twist of fate, it vanished into thin air, leaving behind nothing but the echo of its eerie presence. With trembling hands, I forced myself to continue down the road, the memory of the encounter burning like a brand into my mind. But no matter how far I drove, the figure seemed to haunt me at every turn, appearing and disappearing with each passing moment like a specter from beyond the grave. I tried to convince myself that it was just my imagination playing tricks on me, that there was a rational explanation for this creepy occurrence. For some reason, I am imagining that a dark figure had appeared before me on an empty road. Maybe I was sleep deprived or bored. My mind was playing tricks on me. But deep down, I knew that something was terribly wrong, that I had stumbled upon something far more sinister than I could have ever imagined. As the night wore on, the figure became more persistent, its ghostly presence growing ever more menacing with each passing encounter. No matter how fast I drove or how many turns I took, it was always there, lurking just beyond the edge of my vision. Desperation gnawed at my insides as I struggled to make sense of the nightmare that had consumed me. I could feel my sanity slipping away, the boundaries between reality and delusion blurring with each passing moment as the figure continued to haunt my every move. And then, in a moment of madness born of desperation, I made a decision that would change everything. With a roaring scream of anguish, I slammed my foot down on the gas, the engine roaring to life as I hurtled down the road in reverse, following the same path I had taken before. The world blurred into a whirlwind of motion as I raced through the night, the wind howling in my ears like a chorus of demons as I tore through the darkness. Every fiber of my being screamed for release for escape from the nightmare that had become my reality. And then, just as suddenly as it had begun, it was over. With a final screech of tires, I came to a stop, the world around me spinning in dizzying circles as I struggled to catch my breath. And then, as if by some miracle, the fog lifted, the darkness receding like a tide as the first light of dawn crept over the horizon. As I stumbled from the car, my limbs trembling with exhaustion, I knew that I had broken the curse that had held me captive in its grasp. The figure was gone, banished back to the depths of the night from whence it came, and I was free, at last, free from the nightmare that had threatened to consume me whole. And though the memory of that fateful night would haunt me for the rest of my days, I took comfort in the knowledge that I had emerged from the darkness stronger than ever before. For sometimes, it is only in facing our deepest fears that we find the strength to overcome them, to emerge from the darkness into the light, forever changed but determined.
ready to face whatever horrors the world may throw our way.